The day ended violently, protesters pushing through barricades trying to storm Hong Kong's legislature, an eruption of anger after a protest the Hong Kong government acknowledged was peaceful. The crowds notable for their size and diversity. Fear over the government's extradition bill is widespread. I think the most important thing is to oppose this evil law, this woman says. Everyone can feel this today. The proposed law would give officials in Beijing the power to bring those wanted in Hong Kong to mainland China. There's no uh, uh, rule of law, no uh, fair trials, no uh, uh, the, uh, humane punishment guarantees. So, uh, And it's uh, going to affect not just Hong Kongers, but anyone living or even just passing through Hong Kong. This is very scary. When Britain returned Hong Kong to China in 1997, it was under what's known as the One Country, Two Systems framework, allowing a separate legal system in the territory. In a joint statement last month, the British and Canadian governments expressed concern for their respective citizens in Hong Kong, warning the proposed law could have a negative impact on rights and freedoms. The United States has expressed similar concerns. Much of the anger has been directed at Hong Kong's Beijing-backed chief executive, including calls for her to resign. But it's unclear what, if any, impact this will have. Beijing indirectly appoints most of Hong Kong's lawmakers. Do you feel that this protest will make a difference? No, absolutely not. Then why do it? Just at least you fight for it. At least, like, you didn't give up anything. You'd fight for it. Fight until the end. In a statement, the government of Hong Kong said it respects people's different views and promised to listen to concerns. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Washington.